What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a little maintenance by inspecting our prop and looking behind it to see if there's any fishing line on. And just doing a general inspection of the prop. I haven't done it in over a year, so it's time to do it. Alright, first things first. We will need let's look, a screwdriver and a hammer to bend down these tabs and then we can find out what size screw this is screw bolt nut nut yeah that's a nut apparently i don't know my parts today okay so we got the tabs bent and i found what size nut it is it is a 15 16 15 16 this is on a four stroke mercury 60 horse so, uh, if you have one just like this, yours is probably a 15 16 as well. Almost with the one inch, but it's a little loose. So, I'm glad I went and looked for the 15 16 So, let's, uh, so next I'll need a block of wood. Um, I'm going to be using a half inch drive ratchet to break it loose. And uh, once I get it off, I'll show you guys all the little pieces of it. Okay, got it broke loose. So, I'll take the nut off real quick. Alright, so remember the order that the parts come off is. We have the nut. We have a locking, locking washer that had the tab that I had to bend. This large thrust washer for reverse uh, it has gears in it so it fits into the splines on the shaft. Took the wood out so before I knock myself out with it. And that should be everything to allow the prop to slide off. There we go. The prop is off. I'm just looking for significant wear or damage. Uh, looks like <coughs> some of our paint came off on our washer here. Don't know if you guys can see that. So look at your splines. Make sure they're not damaged. bent, corroded, and look at your hub as well, let's see if I get that light, look inside your hub, see if there's any trash or any, looks like the overheating or spinning of the hub, I'm not having any issues, I was really looking behind here to see if there might be some fishing line or anything that could possibly be wrapped around in my prop. I'm not seeing anything really wrong uh, at all. So this thing is going to get put back together. Um, I'm going to put a little marine grease on here. I'll grab that real quick and show you guys what I'm talking about. Then we're going to reinstall because I don't see any issues. Oh, I forgot about the thrust washer. It does come off as well. You can look at it, uh, see if there's any damage done to it as well. I don't see anything wrong here. Uh, nothing nothing going on weird with the seal. Uh, everything looks pretty good. So I'll put some more grease on here and then we'll reinstall. Ooh, I'm just blinding myself with the light here. Okay so here's the marine grease that I was talking about. Uh, 24C uh, with poly uh, tetrachloride ethylene maybe PTFE. Um, this is what's recommended to put on your spawn shaft, and I highly recommend it because it makes it a lot easier to get off the next time you try to get it off. Uh, you can pick this up at your local marine store, or marine and parts store. So we're gonna put a little bit on that, and then uh, we're gonna reassemble. 
Make sure you have your thrust washer on correctly. Um, this edge, the edge here, comes this way, not the other way where the rounded edge is out. So this guy just slimply just slides right on. Just like that. And if you guys remember correctly, next thing was was the reverse thrust washer. There you go. Then we have our locking ring, locking washer. Put that in there. The two edges here go in these little slots here. And then we can work on tightening this thing down. It is a locking nut, so you can't screw it all the way down by your hand. So I'll be doing that with the wrench. And I will get back with you once I'm done. So when you tighten the nut back down, make sure you have a flat side of the nut for your locking tab here to be bent back up to. Uh, you can, you know, slightly loosen it or tighten it just a tad more just to make it line up a little better. Alright, so now I have my tap spin up into place. Your prop should free spinly, spin freely. Wow, I need to learn how to talk there, buddy. Spin freely. You're going to have a little bit of play. That's due to the gears inside. Don't worry about that. It's going to come in and out just a little bit. Just a bit. Maybe, uh, I would say maybe like a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, more than that, you probably have some issues. So make sure you have your tabs in. Uh, if you don't, well, and it might spin off, but probably not. But it spins freely without any noise, and you're in good shape. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please sub sub subscribe. Wow. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, this is how you do some general maintenance on your prop. Just do a quick inspection and make sure you don't have anything wrapped up behind it. And that can cause even more serious damage. So until next time, get out there and go catch you some fish.